Today we're out here on the ranch looking at the T4 horse program. My name is Ty Cowan. Our family is involved in a horse program that's been going on for 50 plus years. Uh, our father, Pat Cohen, started this in the late 70s and early 80s. He was at Fort Pier at a rodeo one day and whatever he was riding he didn't think was fast enough. And on the track, which was right beside the rodeo arena, they matched race John Red and he saw them guys match, that Clarence match raced him and realized this horse could run faster than anything that they had and that they'd been riding. In the early 80s, he went around and bought a number of the John Red daughters, and he took those mares and then bred them back to a horse of Stanley Johnston's by the name of Orphan Drift, who was uh, an own son of Driftwood Ike, which turned out to be a, an absolute great cross. And a lot of those mares is what started on the beginning of his program breeding those fillies back to Sunfrost. And Sunfrost himself was by Jack Frost. And the speed and the stainability of, of the orphan drift with the good flat bone and good foot crossed back on, on Sunfrost who complemented that and certainly added to the speed and balance of those horses and turned out to be a brilliant cross. The one thing about the majority of the horses in this program is they can move and they can think fast enough to keep track of where they're going. Meaning they can go to the barrel race and they can go to the roping and they can go to a number of uh, different events that, you know, that someone may be looking for. Most of the mares that are here, you know, we've ridden four generations of them. So if, if you've got a situation to where people are not riding their fillies and riding what they're raising. I don't know how you'd go on and figure out how to breed them and cross them. And, you know, I think we're very blessed that way to have places and, and the ability to go out and ride them horses out and, and get to know what they've got and get acquainted with what, what they bring to the table. And, you know, you've got average horses that, that you can ride and go get something done. And then you've got horses that uh, make the hair on the back of your neck stand up, you know, due to their athletic ability or how quick their mind works to get themselves out of a jam. You know, these horses are raised here. They're raised in wide open country. They're born out here. They're up against barbed wire fences. There's uh, rattlesnakes. You know, they're, they're raised as naturally as we can. You know, there's a lot of different ways to raise them, but if, if I had to raise them in pens and do it that way, I, I, I don't think we'd have the horses that we do today. Part of that comes to them colts getting street smart about stepping across a creek, out stepping a log, you know, ducking a branch or, or whatever. That, that certainly gets them much more in tune to their body and how to move their body than if he was standing in a flat pen. To me, getting to know what these horses are really made out of, what makes them, you know, as tough and as gritty as they are, is without a doubt what keeps them going today and what's kept us here. And it's amazing to me that I get to talk to people all over the country, and, and it's interesting on how many dif different people say that that horse looks like a cow and horse. You know, when I look back at over the last 40 years on what we've done with these horses, and probably more importantly, what they've done for us, it, it, it's truly pretty amazing. And, and uh, you know, not very many people get to experience some of the things that we've got to in the horse deal as far as having, you know, different horses that have won world championships or had the chance at a world championship or got to sit on the couch or your chair watching, you know, some high, high profile rodeo w with a horse that the genetics came from here. You know, it's just powerful what these mares have done for our family. And I'm very, very excited to see where we can go from here because I think, I think all of that 40 plus years of breeding and whatnot, I think we're just starting to see what that may or may not be able to do, but I'm very excited about where we're gonna go from here.